Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in. If you're new, come join me, Scorpio. We're doing your reading. I'm just cleansing the space, cleansing the energy on the cards, cleansing my energy with some dragon's blood sage. And let's get into your reading. <laughs> These are going to be predictions for the upcoming month, hopefully. Or whatever messages that spirit wants to get out to you. So if you have your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, and Scorpio, this could resonate for you. Did I say Sagittarius? I meant Scorpio if I did. So Scorpio, let's see what we have for you coming in. Oh my God, the whole deck. I'm not taking these. I can't. I just can't. Let's do it. I want them to come out one by one. One by one. Two of Earth. Two of Pentacles. Four of waters, four of cups. Messenger of water, knight of cups. Seven of air, seven of swords. I just heard liar, liar cheater. I'll take both of them. Um, they're both in the reverse, so I'll put them both in the upright. Queen of Earth, Queen of Fire, uh -oh, Emperor in the middle of the deck. Page of Water, uh, and Two of Fire, Two of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, Nine of Fire, Nine of Wands. Wounded warrior, somebody caught off guard. Scorpio, I'm feeling some uh, some type of way right here. I need to light some more sage real quick. And y'all give me a minute while I look over your cards. I'm gonna turn this back over. So you have the emperor in the middle of the spread, which is what's connecting everything. This is your overall energy right now. You're wanting to take control of something. You want to get things together. You want to get things in order. It's like you're not, I'm hearing not settling for the bullshit. I don't know. Somebody is ready to take charge, ready to take leadership or control over something. This could after be after being wounded or you feel like you're needing to protect yourself because you were wounded or you are wounded there's definitely a choice that i'm seeing that somebody has to make here somebody's tired of doing a balancing act tired of juggling things they want things to be in order they want to get things in control i do feel like somebody's going to be apologizing to you scorpio about something um but I don't think that you're going to be satisfied with the apology because you're definitely disgruntled now. You're not happy. You're not satisfied. You want to get things right. Somebody's lying or keeping something or holding back something here, being sneaky or deceptive. Mm, let me get some water. There's two queens on this board. And the emperor. We got the page of water here, which is somebody not being able to handle their feelings or emotions. Could be jealousy. Somebody's deciding uh, what path to choose. Although at this point, I'm feeling like somebody feels like there's only one way to go from here. Right, Scorpio, let's go ahead and see what we have for you to Earth. Judgment, yeah, something's coming into somebody's awareness and they're making a final call. You could be being guided to make a final call. Your angels are saying that, look, you can no longer move this way. So you have a decision to make here. 
and it's like you're still holding these two things up you're still trying to balance these out but your arms are weak you're not maybe you're not paying attention to the signs of what you need to do Scorpio but you are being called to do something <clears throat> we have the Emperor again Because somebody knows the right things to do, this is like, or because somebody is stepping up, trying to take control, trying to get things in order. Um, I don't know why I'm getting the law here. Lay down the law. This is not making somebody else happy here. Somebody's not happy that somebody's trying to control them or take control of the situation. Lay down the law, what have you. Damn it, my candle just went out. I'm gonna have to relight that, y'all. Hold on real quick, it's almost burnt out too. I need new candles, I can go get those today. Cause I gotta have my candles. All right, sorry about that Scorpio. Um, Yeah, somebody's not happy about somebody's taking a leadership role or taking control. What's this messenger of water? What's this apology about? Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding back. Somebody could be holding back their energy from somebody here and this is making somebody want to apologize here. I feel like somebody knows they did something wrong. Um, they know they were doing something wrong. The moon just flipped. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it flipped. Um, but I'm not taking it. Because there's like three other cards behind it, but... Yeah, somebody's holding back their energy from somebody now and they feel like, okay, they understand this. They see this. It's become aware to them that this person's not the same. They're not giving the same effort here. And so they're wanting to apologize. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be lying about some money or have stolen some money. There's some money being questioned here. Theft of some money. Or somebody's lying about how much money they have or something like that. We got the six of wands here. Somebody's looking for a victory. They are getting a victory here. Because they're getting a victory here, this is allowing them to take control more. This is allowing them to step into a leadership role or... Um, have more dominion, more say over how things go. Two of swords. There's two, two, and two. So there's definitely a choice that's needing to be made here. Somebody might not be seeing it rationally and might feel stuck in making that choice. This could be an earth sign, queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. There's something that this person's not seeing. And it could have to do with money. We have the strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo too. Got a lot of fire sign here. Um, hmm. what I'm seeing here for you, Scorpio, is... <laughs> 
because of your strength or your courage or you being able to step up and say something about something or take control of something, uh, you're it's making you more beautiful. It's making you more assertive. It's I don't know. I just feel like somebody is just tired of something and they are taking control over a situation. They're being assertive. They're being strong. They're using their strength and courage to, you know, step up and stand up for themselves here. And you are going to be victorious here. It's going to allow you to have more say and more control over something. Somebody's not going to like this though, but they're going to see that it's changed you in some type of way. And then they're going to apologize. But somebody's stuck not seeing something here. Nine of Swords. God, somebody is really afraid and jealous here. You could be dealing with a Leo. I said that already, but or a fire sign. Some Sag. Or this person could have fire in their chart predominantly, but this person is scared and jealous, possibly. Or just afraid that they can't control their emotion. I'm also seeing that somebody's scared of what they might do here too. By not being able to control their emotion. The devil's in the background of this picture here. If you guys can see that face in the back. That's the devil. Toxicity, addictions, obsession, control, manipulation. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody doesn't know what to do here. Two of, two of pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. Somebody doesn't know what to do here. There is a choice that needs to be made. Two, two, two might be important to you. Look that number up. But yeah, there is some type of illusion, deception, just a lot of options here. But somebody feels like they got to do something. They got to choose something. Something's got to change. Let's dive a little deeper. Show me the judgment. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Spirit, guys, benevolent ancestors, thank you. Judgment. <laughs> Look, Scorpio. Your angels, your guides, your spirit team, they're calling your awareness to something. They could be sending you signs and symbols of something. They could be trying to alert you or make you aware of something. It's like, wake up. Four of cups at the bottom of the deck. Something is not right. Something is not all together. They're calling you to your attention to the Four of Cups. Dissatisfaction in this situation. This is not acceptable. Something is not acceptable. We got the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. There's some type of options you have, choices you have. You're trying to control the situation. You're trying to weed out which ones are right for you, but you're still dissatisfied. I feel like somebody's trying a lot of different things here to get control over a situation, but it's not working. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody, there's a lot of pain and hurt and betrayal here. Somebody could be juggling multiple partners, could be juggling finances, um, just could, something's not right here. Show me the four of pentacles, four coins, six of pentacles. Something's not fair. Something's not equal give and take. Somebody's holding back their energy now because of this. It could have to do with money. It could have to do with money. King of Swords. And I just seen the King of Swords under here. <laughs> 
So justice is going to prevail. Um, this King of Swords with the Judgment card again here. Again, I feel like somebody's spirit guides or angels who's ever surrounding somebody right now, they are alerting this person. They're alerting this person. But something's going to come through about some money. The truth is going to come out about some money or the lying about some money or something. A lie about money. Somebody's stealing money. Something. Somebody's stealing something. The truth is going to come out about that. And Scorpio, you could be, uh, what's the word? Avenged or not justified. Um, what is the word? Uh, redeemed? Eight of Wands. Yeah, this, this is going to happen quick. This is going to happen quick and this is going to give you, when you're redeemed and you come out victorious in a situation, when the truth is told finally, um, I feel like the truth was already told and somebody didn't believe it. You made a, you may have told your truth and you may have been being righteous and somebody still thinks you're lying or vice versa. Somebody told their truth and it could have to do with money. And you, st and you still feel like they're lying or somebody still feels like you're lying. But uh, communication is coming in real quick. This is about to happen. You're about to be victorious here. Redeemed. Redeemed. Redemption. Yeah, your angels are all over this temperance here. Somebody is being calm about the situation. Somebody's being calm about the situation because they don't know the truth. They don't know who actually did what. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. At the cut. Show me the strength card. Too many. Show me the strength card. Two of Pentacles. <laughs> We got the two of pentacles here. We got the two of pentacles here. Six of pentacles here. Six of pentacles here. Two of pentacles here. So two, two, two. Twos are all over here. There is a choice that's needing to be made here. There's like at least five twos on this board. And we got the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck again. Betrayal. Nine to the ten. Somebody is so scared that somebody's going to betray them out of jealousy. Somebody is trying to make a choice on what to do here. They're trying to be strong, make a choice, definitely be assertive about what it is that they want. Somebody is definitely jealous of somebody's looks. Show me the nine of swords. Ten of wands. Or two of wands, my bad. Two of wands. And then we got the two of wands here too. Two of pentacles, two of wands. More choices. Choices need to be made. At the bottom of the deck, knight of swords. Somebody coming in speaking their truth. Somebody's going to come tell the truth. Or somebody don't like that somebody's told the truth. I'm also getting somebody chose to walk a path of fear. Negative energy, negative emotion, jealousy, fear and jealousy. But that's all jealousy is, is a fear that somebody's better than you or that you're not good enough. That's what jealousy is. That's where envy comes from. Five of swords. Somebody is trying to win at all costs here. Even though they know the truth or they the truth has been told, they're still not satisfied with the truth. What's at the bottom of the deck? Knight of Cups. Yeah, again, the apology is going to come in. 
somebody's going to be apologizing for not believing somebody or not trusting somebody or something like that. Mm, this is, ugh. This energy, all over this energy is like, yuck. Oh, shh. I knew there was one of those cards in here. The world. I'm just going to put that. And the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Things are about to change. Something's about to come to an end. And somebody's about to have to apologize. But the thing about it is, is that now what are you? You're going to have a choice to make, Scorpio, on how you move forward from this situation. And I feel like you're going to get control over the situation and really like... I don't know. You're just going to get control over the situation. Show me what I need to see here for Scorpio messages. Be assertive. That's why that Queen of Wands is here. The Queen of Wands is here. The Emperor is here. You got to be assertive in this situation. Meditation brings answers. The situation will improve. Everybody's been getting up. And reconsider. Give me one more. Somebody could know the truth and be considering still lying about it just to piss somebody off <laughs> in the near future. Reconsider in the near future. Let's get to Oh my God, what just came to my mind here too is that somebody staged something. Scorpio, what are you doing? Somebody staged a theft or something like that. Somebody staged a theft or something with the Seven of Swords here that's stealing, being strategic, lying, deception. Somebody staged something, created an illusion just to see how somebody would react. Something like that. I don't know. Oh, east. And at the bottom of the deck, earth. Number three. Let's see. For you, Scorpio. Make sure you hit that like button, Scorpio. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, East is new beginnings. Beginnings. Worry not. A new dawn is breaking. Let go of the old and embrace the new. Flow forward without heaviness or anxiety. New ways of being are calling to you. New ways of being are calling to you. Speak up with a clear voice. Do not resist change. What have I been saying this whole reading? Something has got to change here. <laughs> Something's got to change here. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure, like I said, you hit that like button to show your gratitude, show your appreciation. Um, help support me and the growth here for other Scorpios can see these messages as well. Other Zodiac signs can see these messages. Subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate you guys and I'm so grateful. Until next time.